Hey, welcome to today's mini. Our topic for today is simple character movement in Unity. So, open up Unity, and as you can see in my scene, I have these simple balls that I have made from simple planes, and I have the cube that will act as a main character, main player, and I have some simple lights. So, as you can see, when I go in play mode and hit WASD keys, the player is not moving because I have not applied any script to it. So, head out of uh, play mode and make a folder named as scripts. And inside that folder, make a C sharp script named player movement. Now, select the player in the hierarchy and drag and drop player movement script in the inspector. So double click the script to open it up in the Visual Studio. And we'll delete everything in the player movement class. And write update function as you know. And everything that is written in the update function will be executed every single frame. So update. In the update function we'll write transform.translate. The translate function is used to move a game object. So a translate function always takes a vector 3. So we'll make a vector 3, vector 3 move and we'll give it a value of new vector 3 and a vector 3 always take 3 values x, y and z. So in x axis we'll write input dot get axis horizontal. So the input dot get axis is used for taking the keyboard input from the player and the horizontal means the horizontal axis. And in the y axis we'll put a value of 0 because we don't want uh, to move a player in the upward and downward direction. And in the z axis we'll give it a value of input.get axis vertical to move on a vertical axis. Now pass the move variable in the translate function. To make it frame rate independent we have to multiply it with time dot delta time. And to make it customizable so that we can give a speed value to the character we have to make a public float speed variable and multiply it with move now save the script and head back into the unity and give some value to the speed variable and hit play you can see the player is moving freely now 